Taurus, hi. So this is going to be a reading for October 11th through the 17th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. Now let's see, Taurus. for the reading the six of cups huh um could be a soul connection or a few you're dealing with here we'll see we'll see what this is in the recent past the five of cups the eight of cups the ten of pentacles somebody left something stable here something that either had the potential to go all the way or um there's just a lot of sadness, a lot of leaving behind things that belong to a stable environment, a stable situation. So I don't know if that's you. It could be that you've gone through something here, um, past something. In the current situation, the devil, the two of swords, the queen of wands, you're overthinking things. I feel like there's a lot of attraction you feel towards somebody. There's a lot of good things you feel towards somebody. There's this unexplainable pull and you're overthinking the shit out of it and i feel like that's just a pattern of yours that's just you know instead of allowing yourself to feel whatever it is that you're feeling not only in this case but like with everything right painful not painful happiness attracted why do that to it why am i feeling this when am i feeling this but if i feel this then then why didn't i feel it then but then who the fuck cares <laughs> you know uh, feel it just because it's definitely a pattern that's not beneficial to you um, with the devil attached to it here uh, in the immediate future where the hell did you find that ball okay. in the immediate future you get the wheel of fortune the five of wands the queen of cups something turns from icky to love now that's cool uh, from conflict, from I hate you, I hate your guts, I can't stand you, whatever, whatever happened here. Maybe just a disagreement, I don't know, but it's, it's kind of a tensed up situation and it turns into love. It flips either back into love or just full on I love you <laughs> kind of thing, you know? So, let's clarify. Let me clarify the Six of Cups. Seven of Wands, Knight of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, you kind of want to take action towards this situation. No, I feel like you're the one that's blocking this, actually. There is a soul connection possibly coming your way. With this new opportunity in life. Like, look at us, what we'll create together here. Um, but I see you kind of blocking it. Kind of being like, nope, no thank you. So it's that recognition... At least on their side of, oh my god, this is it. And on your side, it's like, I do know what you are. I can identify you as a soul connection, but stay back. I don't want you, kind of thing. Okay. Let's see the Eight of Cups there in the recent past. Okay, so this looks like a situation uh, that was very sabotaging for you, self-sabotaging, self-deceptive, because I feel like you walked away from something that you really, really wanted in terms of a long-term commitment by the looks of it. We'll clarify that in, the, in a minute to see exactly what that is, but there's definitely the possibility of things going someplace pretty good. And there's you turning your back to it. 
despite the fact that you wanted this, you know, the, your energy is towards this, your physical body is like you're forcing yourself to turn your back to this, even though energetically, I want this, you know? So that's why it, it appears as self-sabotaging. Um, let's do the Ten of Pentacles in the recent past. Page of Wands, Three of Cups, Knight of Cups. And it had opportunities to come back together, the situation. Uh, there's definitely love, there's definitely passion, there's definitely good energies in it. So why the hell would you leave it? It created a lot of pain for you, but you still... Of course, roles can be reversed where the other person turned their back to this, even though that's not really what they wanted to do. Hmm. Um, but this situation definitely carried love, passion, um, lots of good stuff. Lots of good stuff. The desire to be with one another. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's do the devil in the current situation. Queen of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, Three of Swords. Practicality is kind of killing you here. Your own practicality is hurting you. That's another kind of situation that um, maybe it's not benefiting you. If you're in a way that was shaped by, who knows, life experiences, society, friends, families, expectations of you, I don't know. Something shaped you to be very, very practical, at least in this situation here. And you're, you're putting logic ahead and you're following that logic like blindfolded. Like this is what I trust, the practical aspect of things and that's it. When you're doing that, you're hurting yourself. You're the one that's going through pain by doing that. And the devil is there too to signal to me that, oh shit, Taurus is doing something and they're not even realizing they're hurting themselves here. You know? Um, feels like a very sturdy kind of program kind of energy, uh, unfortunately, where to the point of you not even realizing you're doing it to that extent. Ooh, what's up in here? For the two of swords, you get the lovers, the king of wands, the sun. You're feeling something very powerful towards a connection with someone. And you're overthinking the shit out of it again. I'm going to say that again because I kind of like saying it. But it's frustrating to you, um, you know, to me because I'm more detached and I can see the energies. It kind of looks like it's funny because it's so powerful that how can you not even allow yourself to feel this? And instead you're taking it up here and creating such a mess in your head about it that it takes away from the feeling of it. And it's a freaking beautiful th feeling. It brings in happiness, it brings in attraction, love, all of the good jazz. Let's do the Queen of Wands. But you keep on following the same pattern when it comes to this. You feel this explosive something then you get scared, you jump up into your head, you make a mess of it, of how you actually feel about it, and then you step into that whole sense of, I gotta be logical about things, I can't allow myself to feel this. Why? Because to me it's coming in as, you're hurting when you're not allowing yourself to feel what you're feeling. And you are the one that takes away from yourself. That's why you're hurting. And again, the devil is there along the way to show me, oh shit, Taurus is um, kind of doing this thing where they don't necessarily see what they're doing. They're not, to them it's normal, but it's a pattern. Uh, for the Queen of Wands, you get the Tower, the Seven of Cups, the Queen of Cups. 
Okay, there's love popping up here. Um, it could come in as a surprise as, oh, I didn't know there, there was love in that corner. I looked there and I didn't see love before. It could be the corner of your freaking heart here. Because you do have it. <laughs> it's almost like a self-discovery. Uh, when you do allow yourself to feel what you feel, it's like, oh man, I haven't felt this way in forever, if ever. Because maybe you never allowed yourself to feel what it is that you're feeling. And it's like you're rediscovering how you feel, how you truly feel. And it comes in as a surprise. Is it, ooh. I didn't know I had that in me. We all do, you know? But I do see love coming from different parts here too. So I don't know if you're opening up here and that attracts love, because it could be the case. But it's almost like a self rediscovery. In the immediate future for the Wheel of Fortune, you get the Moon, the Ace of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, th things are starting to change here for you. It feels like you're, um, man, and the energies get so cleared up. When you step into that place of accepting, allowing you to feel what it is that you want to feel, the energy settled down so smooth and so, like, ah, oh, kind of thing, you know? You're still kind of keeping it all a secret, but at least you know about it. At least you allow yourself to feel that. And then when the outside world is ready for that, it'll come out. You don't even have to put it there, you know? There's definitely a sense of things changing for the better in terms of figuring out what you want, when you want it, with who you want it, and things like that. When you allow yourself to be honest with yourself. Let's do the five of wands. You get the Eight of Wands, the Death card, the Queen of Wands. You're the one that can put a stop to this conflict. This, this energy of the conflict, it's only alive if somebody's hanging on to it. If you're hanging on to it, you're giving it life. The energy of the conflict here, whatever conflict you have with someone. If somebody else is holding on to it, they're giving it life on their part. That doesn't mean the conflict is still there necessarily if you're not giving it life. For them it is, but that's their business, you know? Uh, I see you stepping up into this energy of conflict and being like, there's no conflict here anymore. I don't know what the hell they're feeling about it, but who the hell cares? It's you, right, that need to deal with this. Maybe you're holding on to an energy that's not even there on their part. Uh, maybe they are, you know, that's not even there on, on, on your part. But I see you releasing this energy of conflict that kind of justified you overthinking things, kind of gave you the excuse to, oh, let me go up in my head. There's conflict here. What does that mean? They're an asshole. They did this. They did that. They blah, blah, blah. So that gives you a lot of assumptions in your head based on that. But you're ending this energy of conflict. That is freaking beautiful how this reading ends. Queen of Cups, you get the Strength card, the Eight of Wands, the Knight of Wands. You're opening up from a place of love, from a place of finally aligning with how you feel. When you do that, you get a really smooth kind of response, kind of like a, I'll meet you halfway, and they are, you know? Uh, you're starting in from a place of love, they're coming in from a place of passion, it feels like it all ties up so beautifully in the end. But not until you fall into how you truly feel about the situation. And I see you kind of being in the middle of doing that. You know, which is telling me that maybe Taurus is not going to sabotage themselves anymore by taking things and messing them up in their head about it. Hmm. Interesting. Let's, um, let's, let's see what the universe has. The Ace of Wands, the star, the Hierophant, the star you got in the past. You remember that situation that you walked away from even though you didn't want to because you wanted something else, not to walk away. Um, 
The Ace of Wands, to me as a reader, it comes in a lot of times as a reboot, as a let's try this again kind of thing, but it's definitely an action taking kind of card and that's you. So it kind of feels like it's coming from you. Um, this new energy, this different kind of energy in this situation. So that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time.